Deepa works in a private bank. She received a disciplinary warning five years ago for an internal control breach. The warning was in force for a year after which it was removed from her personal file. So she received a warning. It was in force for a year. It was removed from her personal file. So there is no evidence of that warning. All right. In her files. Now Deepa has decided to change her job and has received a very good offer from another bank. She did very well in the interview. She did not mention the disciplinary warning. The bank will do the mandatory background verification with her present employers and she is worried. What is she worried about? She is worried that the disciplinary warning might be mentioned. Siddhant is Deepa's manager and joined the bank a couple of years before her. He is aware of her career graph and also about the disciplinary warning that she received. Now here is the extra information from the case that we got. There is a friend, Siddhant, who's a manager, who's a friend. He has joined, uh, no, no, friend, he didn't say. He's a manager. He joined the bank a couple of years before her. He is aware of her career graph and also about the disciplinary warning that she received. He has been approached by Deepa's new bank as part of their background verification. So you have Deepa's manager, Siddhant, who knows Deepa well, who knows about this warning and they are doing a background verification check. The new bank has asked him to report what he knows about Deepa because they want to do a background verification check. Now, if you were Siddhant, what would you do? What would Siddhant do? What should Siddhant do? He should mention the disciplinary warning along with any other major disciplinary issues they faced with Deepa. He should not mention the warning. Now, should he mention the warning? What was our answer to the first question? Our answer to a previous question was that the warning is not important because the warning has expired. One year, she served it, it's done. So she has not mentioned it and we thought it's not wrong not mentioning it. So the same rule applies here. Siddhant need not mention the warning. The warning is done. It's year, uh, it's one year has expired. It's been removed from her personal files. So clearly it's not important. Therefore, he should mention the disciplinary warning. We would not agree. Sorry, 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 sorry. So we cannot say he should mention the disciplinary warning. I'll do the question again. Siddhant is Deepa's manager and joined the bank a couple of years before her. All right. He is aware of her career graph and also about the disciplinary warning she received. He has been approached by Deepa's new bank at, as part of the background verification. Interesting. He knows her. He knows about the warning. What should Siddhant do? He should mention the discipline. Let me get my pen right. Pen. He should mention the disciplinary warning along with any other major disciplinary warning. Now, in the previous question, we learned that the disciplinary warning was for one year and it's done. It's not important. That's why it's been removed from the personal file. Therefore, this doesn't work. He should not mention the, the disciplinary warning is an internal matter, internal control on whatever the issue was that is done. Therefore, the first part we don't agree with. Therefore, one is not there. He should not mention the warning. What else should he do has not been given. So this is just incomplete if you want. He shouldn't mention the warning, right? What else should be mentioned? He should not mention the warning, but should mention if Deepa has been accused of any other major offenses. Now in a bank, right, it's background verification is very important. Now, that warning was an internal matter. It was, it, she served the term of one year when it was in force. Therefore, he should not mention the warning. But the second part, if there is any other thing as a manager, it is his duty to inform the new bank about it. So, C is a better answer than B. B says he should not mention the warning and leaves it at that. Fine, he won't mention the warning. But if there's any other major issue, uh, accusation against her, he should mention something especially like embezzlement or anything because it's a bank, right? Public trust is involved in a bank. Therefore, C is the right answer.